If you have student loans and you are trying to obtain home ownership, this video is gonna be perfect for you because FHA just announced that we no longer, us lenders, no longer have to count 1% of the total balance in your monthly payment. Um, now it has changed to half a percent, which is huge and here's why. If on your credit report, we pulled your credit report and it did not have a monthly payment on there, I would ask you to be like, hey, what's going on with the student loans? Do you pay? Are you in deferments or are you in a student forgiveness plan? Um, whatever the case may be, why is this number zero on your credit report? What's going on? And if you told me that it was deferred and you don't have to make payments as of right now, that's great. But for qualifying purposes, we do know that eventually you are going to have to pay a monthly payment. And so since you're not in agreement yet of what monthly payment that would be, we would have to count 1% of that total balance into your monthly um, debt, which affects your debt to income ratio. So no longer is the case do we have to count 1%. Now we only have to count half a percent into your monthly debt, which is huge because this can be the difference between qualifying for a loan or qualifying for more of a loan that you guys wanted to originally. So this is big for clients um, that have that student debt um, and qualifying. Now, conventional did always have the rule that we would use half a percent, um, but conventional was just a little bit tougher to qualify for just because you do have to have higher FICOs, um, low debt to income ratios. Um, so sometimes we would be able to go that conventional route, but this is a great um, opportunity for clients that are going that FHA route. Um, so I'm super excited. And if you have any other questions and you're interested in obtaining a home, please reach out to me.